Well, good morning, Snow Blob. <laughs> How are you doing today? It is one of those unusual days where it is snowing and sunny outside. <laughs> and the bottom has fallen out of the thermometer. <laughs> it is only 10 degrees today. But I suppose you'll take the snow any way you can get it. <laughs> Have a good day, Snow Blob. It was good to see you. Well, hello there, and welcome to another edition of Tommy Travels, the second. <laughs> we are here today at the American Swedish Institute in Minneapolis. <laughs> that is a lot of locations to mention in a very short sentence, but we made it here. And as usual, I know very little about this location because I do very little research before I show up at these places. So we're going to be learning about this together. And I have a feeling that it has something to do with Sweden. <laughs> and it is decorated for the holidays. And that um, they do till about the middle of January. And uh, so even though this video isn't coming out during the holiday season anymore, uh, they still have it going on here a little bit. So uh, it should be very interesting. You guys, if you haven't subscribed to me yet, and you're brand new to this channel, go ahead and take a moment, hit subscribe so you don't miss out on a thing, and come on with me, let's go see what there is to see. Here's a little bit of a closer view of this mansion. Just look at that, oh my gosh. Boy, I like to have a little message in, in some of my episodes of Tommy Travels the Second, and I guess today would be just to keep going. You know, this morning when I woke up, it was a cold, very cold, and snowy day, and I just felt like hanging around and watching TV and doing nothing today, but you know what? <laughs> a big part of the reason I do this is to motivate people to go out and see what there is to see. And so, even on days when you don't feel motivated, if you've got things going on that you're supposed to do, just keep going. <laughs> just do it. And life rewards you for doing that. And we're gonna step inside and see what kind of rewards are gonna pay off for me getting out of bed today. <laughs> this should be interesting. So when you enter into the area there, there's a place to have a little food and things like that. And then this is where we enter the mansion, but I wanted to show this out in the little courtyard area. <laughs> They've got <laughs> this little creation over here with the wreath and candles <laughs> lighting up her head <laughs> for some reason. I'm not sure exactly what to make of this, <laughs> but that little sweet roll there looks pretty tasty. <laughs> and we're still in this hallway here, but they have what's called the Berglund Studio Classroom, where they have a guy working on something here. <laughs> I'm not sure what. Looks like it's gonna be something pretty cool though, and very interesting. And there's a guy hard at work in the classroom to create some artistic goodness, I'm sure. So what is the house of balls, you ask? <laughs> well, as we pan over here to look at part of the artwork that comes from the studio of sculptor Alan Christian, whose studio is called the House of Balls. It is in the Minneapolis Warehouse District. And it's been there since 1987. Wow, and this curious place is filled with human-like figures and unique elements made from found objects. And he is known for carving figures from bowling balls, hence the name House of Balls. We are now entering the very first room of the mansion itself and look at that detail in the moldings. Look at this huge mirror up here. Look at the detail. My gosh, that is amazing. The moldings are just incredible. 
And then sconces everywhere. Look at this. I'll bet this table alone is worth a fortune. <laughs> and here's a look at the beautiful kitchen with high ceilings, little chandelier, an awesome old timey oven we got there. Looks like it is ready for some ready for some cooking. <laughs> We've got the cupboard with the bowls and the sinks. And one of the kid was like, hey, it's a kitchen and a bathroom. <laughs> and I sure hope he's wrong about that. <laughs> and then a little table here to do some recipes. Over here would be the main entrance to the home and you would be greeted by this right here. A huge, unbelievable fireplace. Look at that. I mean, have you ever seen anything like it? I have not. Look at that. Poinsettias. Uh, we just use these as a base for holding some plant life. <laughs> Look at the ornate detail all around. Little fireplace. This clock. It goes all the way up there. And even the ceiling is a work of art itself. Wow. Absolutely incredible. And here is the man himself, Swan Turnblad. He built this home in the late 1800s and he acquired his fortune by becoming the owner of the largest Swedish language newspaper in the United States. And even the staircase. <laughs> Look at these guys. <laughs> Greeting you as you go up the stairs. <laughs> wow. And then this is the beautiful dining room table they have. Look at this dining room. Another awesome fireplace back there. Wow, look at that. Never seen anything like that. And what I like is the little gingerbread house that they have on each plate with everyone's name. And this is for Elsa. This is her spot right here. And as we ascend this beautiful grand staircase here, we are greeted by a Christmas tree and some stained glass windows here with a knight, a suit of armor. But look at this. Absolutely amazing. Looks like they've got a whole town up here. <laughs> Lots of people busy counting money over here. This guy, he's like, hey, watch out, I have a family going on over here. Oh my gosh. You know, my message today of just to, rather than sit home and do nothing, just to keep going. <laughs> this is my reason right here. Never thought I'd see something like this today. And it makes it all worthwhile. I am duly rewarded. And they've got another little Christmas tree set up over here. And by the way, all of the books that you see in this room here, they were owned by Swan Turnblad himself. Very authentic. And they have another little Norwegian room here with wood figures and a very cool Santa Claus or Father Christmas, I don't know what they call him, call him over there. Another really cool fireplace and sweaters. Looks like I've stepped into a Gap commercial. <laughs> and this beautiful area here is the Finland room. Look at that table set up. With little art in the background there. Colorful padding for the bench seating. And another amazing fireplace setup. Look at that. And if you're a fan of artwork, this third floor has a whole gallery set up. Check these out. 
And here's my favorite one. Look at this awesome tree. Unbelievable. Colorful paintings all around. And here we are in the Denmark room. And look at this cool ship that they have here. Just sailing away on display. Wow. There isn't a room in here without something really cool to check out. And this is cool. And in case you're wondering, this historic mansion lavatory is for viewing only. <laughs> so keep that in mind if you pass by this room right here. And we have now arrived on the fourth floor of the home. And they've got this cool little sitting area here. And then there's the stairs over there. And then what I really like is this wooden sculpture right here called the capping. And this is a very cool sculpture because this represents a ceremony that was the most anticipated event of a student nurse's first year. This is the first year student nurse and she's getting her cap placed on her by a second year student nurse, which would be called Big Sis. And this lady looking on would be a graduate nurse, which they both aspire to become. This is very cool and the, the lamp that she is holding right there symbolizes nurses diligent caring. And then here are some real nurses in the background from that time period. And how many people have a house so big that you can just go down the hallway and put a piano right in the middle of the hallway and it still doesn't look out of place. <laughs> just looks like it belongs right there and doesn't cramp the room at all. Well, if you're wondering how some of this wall art was made, here's a clue right here. Look at this, a couple of looms. And it looks like this one has a work in progress. A very colorful work at that. <laughs> that is amazing. Well, and here is a final look at the very front of the house that we were just exploring. And I thought this would be a good way to end this episode of Tommy Travels the second. Look at this place. The architecture is just incredible on the outside as well as the inside. Oh my gosh. Well, if you guys liked what you saw here today, go ahead and hit like on my YouTube channel. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit subscribe and the little bell notification next to it. It just gives you future updates on videos that are yet to come. And if you liked this video and would like to see more content, my main channel, Tommy Travels, will have even more stuff that you didn't get to see in this video. So definitely go over and check out that channel and hit subscribe there too. And thanks again you guys for all of your support and for hanging out with me today and I hope to catch you on the flip side.